Hey everyone, welcome to Morning Space Studio. In this video, I'm gonna introduce my new open source project called the Docker Registry CRI. So, what is Docker Registry CRI? If you use Docker, you may know that Docker Registry is a service that is used to store Docker images. There are some popular public Docker registries such as Docker Hub, Koi, Google Container Registry, and AWS Container Registry, and so on. But people can also build their own private Docker registry as well. And Docker Registry CRI is a command line utility written in Bash Shell to manage Docker registry. There are some alternatives that can be found on GitHub. Most of them are written in Go and Python. I will give you some highlights to help you understand why Docker Registry CRI is different from others. So number one, copy in batch. To copy images in batch is one interesting feature provided by the CRI. It can be used to, to copy multiple images from different sources, including both private and public registries to the target registry so that you can set up your own private registry easily. Number two, based on Deemed. Here, Deemed means Docker in Docker. By using Deemed, not only the CRI can be run inside a container, it can even run Docker commands in the container, which is what the copy and batch feature leverages on under the hood. By using Deemed, all that you do in a container will not pollute the local registry cache on your host machine. Number three, less is more. The CRI only provides a few commands and options, but with the combination, it can do a lot of things such as list images, tags, digests, manifests, and copy or remove images with tags, and so on. You will see all of these features later in this video. Number four, easy to use. The design rationale behind the Docker Registry CRI is to reference existing Linux command syntax as much as possible. So it's fairly easy to learn and use if you are familiar with some ordinary Linux commands such as ls for list, rm for remove, and CP for copy. Okay, let's start a look at how to use Docker Registry CRI to set up a private registry quickly. And we'll see how these highlights are reflected by going through the demo. Docker Registry CRI can be run either inside or outside the Docker container. It's much easier to run inside a container because it has all dependencies installed and a soft link created for the shell script so that you can run the CRI anywhere in a container. The Docker Registry CRI image has been built and published to Docker Hub, so you can pull it from there and use it. Another way to run the CRI is to clone the GitHub repository directly to a local. Then, use Docker Compose to run it. The Docker Compose YAML file includes the CRI with a Docker daemon wrapped as a container and a simple private registry for testing purpose, where the host name is mr.io. In this video, we will use this approach to run a demo. So, let's firstly start both the Docker daemon and the registry. Then launch another container to connect to the Docker daemon. In order to copy images to the registry, we need a rack CRICP command. By running the command, it can copy images in batch from source registries, including both public and private registries, to the target registry. 
Let's copy the Docker registry CRI image itself from Docker Hub to our MR.io registry. Then, let's use regcri-ls command to list the catalog of mr.io. Congratulations! We've successfully copied our first image to mr.io. Append the image name after regcri-ls. We can list all tags of this image. Right now, we only have the latest tag. We can also use dash LD option to list the digests for the image. And dash LM option to list manifests for the image. As we mentioned earlier, Docker Registry CRI image is based on Dint, so we can run Docker commands in the container. Actually, what Rack CRI CP does is just to run Docker commands to finish the work. Let's run Docker images. As you see, this is the image that we pulled from Docker Hub just now, and this is the tagged one that's going to be pushed to MR.io. And all those stuff are invisible to the host machine. If we exit the container after we get our work done, nothing will be left. OK, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope that you found this video useful. And if you did, please share it. I would appreciate it. This is Morning Space Studio. See you next time. <laughs>